Look at that damage, dude. Look at that damage. That's crazy. Shouldn't be that. Yeah, he procs after this. Getting the hug. <laughs> Look at these hugs. Okay, strip. No. Strip. No. <laughs> okay, let's go for um, Dominic, actually. Oh, nice proc. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys welcome to another siege uh, so yeah there's one minute until it starts and uh, there's three more sieges left until the end of the season and uh, i really hope that we can enter the tourney it would be my first time at the tourney so yeah i need those skins for the alaya <laughs> okay we are rank eight here's the ranking I mean, we can potentially get uh, the best guilds like um, after Matthew, Cardiac, Legend Zero, um, Dot, and we can get some of the easier um, stuff here. Hmm. I mean, let's see. Let uh, matchmaking <laughs> decides our destiny. Okay, five seconds. Oh rank 8 and we got chevalier and taiko too oh this is kind of weird okay those are the defenses some dark one okay there's a uh, laura defenses uh, those are bulwark food unfortunately i don't have bulwark so yeah okay let's see how this goes Okay, guys, uh, first attack is gonna be against Miang, Asher, and uh, Sislid. I'll be using this classic comp with Tractor, Tetra, and actually Windy like this. He's kinda low on HP, but that's fine, uh, he's on crit damage. I missed two crit rate, which is uh, the bo uh, not the best, but yeah, mm, I'll just risk it. I mean, after I attack this Miang, I should be. Okay, yeah, that's kind of a lot of damage, but that's fine. Um, I'll just go S1 and go Ormiang boost. Okay. Let's actually try to cleanse. Nice. I mean, look at that damage, dude. <laughs> look at that damage. That's crazy. I mean, Windy doesn't need to be that uh, tanky, though, after all. Let's try to strip. That's fine. No stun, but this can kill, right? <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. Okay, go for Asher now. Look at this damage. Boom. <laughs> Boom. That's nice. I mean, that uh, Miyang was kind of squishy. Okay, boost. No proc, that's fine. Try to strip again. Nice stun. Again, good damage. I mean, I, I'm even getting so much shields from uh, my Windy. And I'm loving this uh, crit damage Windy, dude. Yeah. I, I feel like they will nerf the Windies in the next patch, <laughs> which is understandable. GG. Okay guys, next attack is against this Chandra, Zen um, and Rahul and I'm gonna be using this interesting comp minus uh, water on uh, how it's called this uh, Juno with some additionals uh, minus uh, wind so minus dark S3 uh, recovery on our Camilla and uh, my Let's try it like this, uh, minus wind and minus water and S3 recovery. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> First to kill, it's this, um, they both can hug, can be a little bit annoying. I'll just do S1. Okay. Uh, First to kill, it's this Zen, so yeah. Mm. I'll go S2, I'll not be greedy. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just keep S warning. Okay. Uh, I have a glancing on, so that's fine. We we'll have a nemesis. You can just glance this. Um, let's go S1. Oh, nice. Go S1 again. They don't have hugs anymore, so I'll just keep focusing this uh, Zen. Nice stand, dude. Really good. Just keep S1ing. Procs kind of annoys because they can transcycle into the hug again. But we have two strippers, so shouldn't be that. Yeah, he procs after this. Getting the hug. <laughs> Look at these hugs. Okay, strip. No. Oh. Strip. No. <laughs> okay, let's go for him. Okay, nice increase time. Nice freeze. Okay, we can strip all of this. We'll go S1 again. Really slow team, but really safe against this stuff. Okay. I guess he has a hug again. Oh, he doesn't. I thought he always procs after the S3. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Because everyone just procs after the S3. Okay, he procs after the S2, so yeah, my bad. Nice strip. Yeah, just S1. Nice stun, dude. And uh, this should be in the bag, yeah. After this, Rahul dies. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> GG. The next attack is against uh, Miang, Tianlang, and Dominic. And I'll be using this comp that I used a couple of sieges back then. Okay, let's go. Okay. Nice. It's fine. No revenge though. Okay, we need to take his attack. Come on, nice. I would just um, boost. Be right back. My son just woke up. <laughs> Okay, let's go for um, Dominic, actually. Oh, nice proc. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love um, Tian, um, Feng Yang. Most OP monster in the game. Yep. <laughs> okay, defense buff. Immunity. And go for Tian Lang. Those, this damage, dude. Like, additional on defense, it's crazy. Love to see it. Okay. okay, go for S4 again. No defense break. Hmm, okay. Let's take her attack. Cleanse this. Oh, almost killed it. Okay, revenge. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, GG. Okay, guys. In next attacks, I couldn't uh, live record, so I'll just use my voice here. Um, in this attack, uh, as you can see, I used uh, Tractor with uh, Tetra and Windy again. It's against the same defense, but it's with uh, Liu Mei. Hmm. I actually think uh, with Liu Mei, it's kind of a bit better. Because Liu Mei can make uh, it's more RNG, but still, I'm not sure about these uh, whole defenses. Uh, I don't think they're that good. I, I know that uh, Sislid and Mian got buffed and they're kind of crazy, but still, you have the counters like uh, Tractor and Windy, which cannot get defense broken, and it's always one uh, out of three that uh, Sislid goes with S3, but. The problem, one more problem is that she derps a lot and uh, it's really bad. Um, I hope they change the siege soon. Yeah, um, I really hope they change the siege because I'm not sure people are just uh, getting, uh, you know, uh, quitting the game and stuff. I hope they, ch they change the siege, dude, to uh, probably 1v1, I think, <laughs> would be the best. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that match was an easy match. Yeah. GG.
Okay guys, uh, next attack, uh, same offense. And as you can see, my fish is level um, 35. <laughs> yeah, because I was farming, uh, I got her today and I was farming the her and a couple of others. But yeah, we needed to attack this defense and I was rushing, just took her and uh, yeah. But I'll say sorry in advance. But yeah, I was at work, I couldn't uh, really pick the offenses and whenever net 5 uh, uh, not pick the offenses but the defenses to hit and whenever uh tower opened everyone just called it like hyenas dude and i really couldn't um, take the net 5 i think i have a couple of uh, net 5s in the future matches i'm not really sure but yeah as you can see this offense works pretty good even though I heard someone says it's not the perfect offense. I mean, there's no perfect offense, dude. You, you, there's always RNG that can hit you. You know, like proking and stuff. You cannot. Uh, you cannot really um, predict stuff. You know. I mean, only st only thing that is loses it's by them proking because if they don't proc, your nemesis just kicks in and uh, stuff. And the second turn is just really easy as you can see here's the map yeah okay i was recording this um, our friend was in one tower on one defense and this was a tower rush he was really uh, long attacking this defense i think he was bulwark team and was so slow <laughs> and we were racing like i was so nervous and yeah we took it it was so uh, crazy, yeah. <laughs> okay guys, next attack, I ran out of uh, the Tetras <laughs> and the tra tractors. Unfortunately, I only, only have um, three tractors. I need to work on that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, here's the uh, the perfect AI of the Syslid, yeah. <laughs> this isn't the safest offense though, but it's safe offense if you know what i mean yeah i just went for someone yep s1 hoping that my windy could cut in but nope couldn't but still look at them like critting and uh, just dealing damage on, on their own on this uh what's called jultan right here i tried to defense break the fish so my windy can uh, deal a lot of damage but mm, didn't happen but it's okay, I mean, only way I can lose this, it's by them proking uh, crazy. But it didn't happen, so yeah, it's a win. Yeah, you just wanna keep s one and finish as soon as possible. Okay, nice. And I'll show the map once again here, I think, yeah. Okay, here's the map just retaking the towers okay guys we were rushing this uh, tower and i needed to really fast rerun the stuff and i think suicide team works really good if i didn't have jultan i would probably take perna but i don't have uh, perna so yeah <clears throat> over here my pisama dies and kills one of the twins but he she procked and just finish him off i was kind of worried because uh, proking can just interfere with your um, suiciders, <laughs> as I can call it. But yeah, she just kills uh, herself. I put the dot on. Okay, it wasn't this dot, but I know it was one dot that killed her. Yep, here it is. <laughs> GG. Okay, guys, next attack was against uh, Neftis, uh, Liu Mei, and Kinky, and I used. Uh, Panda on wheel, uh, Leo on double wheel shield, and Elia 100 res um, via wheel. Uh, I pushed back, you may. It was the perfect, but uh, this uh, Neft is derped, and I was so worried that she's gonna use her S3. And I use my S2 to gain immunity, and again, she uses the S1, and I was like, really, dude. 
and I needed to kill her as soon as possible because you don't want Nefty's S2 into Kinky S2. That would be devastating. So much damage. Yeah, and she used it now, but only my Leo uh, was uh, vulnerable. And yeah, I just went ham on this uh, Nefty's to kill her ASAP. Over here, just uh, buff and uh, try to kill this Liu Mei as soon as possible. After you kill Liu Mei, it should be really easy against Kinky. This panda just eats Kinky alive, so yeah, you just want uh, S2 to not get defense broken. Even if your Leo dies here, your panda can just use S2 and this uh, Kinky can kill himself. <laughs> panda is just that strong. I have no idea why they buff him, but yeah. <laughs> That just proves that Comptas doesn't play um, Summoner's War, yep, <laughs> GG. Okay guys, actually this was the ninth attack. I used the Jin Leo Helena against uh, this Mei Yang uh, Wind Shadowcaster and uh, the Bay. So the plan is just to go S3 with Jin and uh, go for uh, Helena Demolishing. <laughs> As you can see, my Jean has a skin. I was really, uh, I really wanted to buy the Water Monkey skin. He's so cute, but yeah, I use Jean more, and my Water Monkey isn't skilled, so it's just useless to buy him. As I would use him, like in a, I don't know how much. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this skin. I wanted to buy Halloween skin, but I don't really support Halloween. I hate it. And uh, this skin was kind of more mature skin and it looks really good even with this uh, transmog. It's not transmog but this shiny stuff around her, I don't know how it's called. <laughs> aura, yeah, it's Aura. Yeah, nice. <laughs> GG. And here's the map uh, as my ninth attack. Uh, it's a saxophone. We need one more attack for 10-10. Can we do it? That's the big question. <laughs> Okay guys, here's the map, and here is our attack. We reserved this tower, I pre-picked uh, my team, same stuff as the earlier, uh, because no more Chetras, no more tractors, and they went for S3 on the perfect target, which is Windy, he loves to be S3 with, uh, by the <laughs> Sislit, <laughs> and yeah, uh, you just wanna Try to push back this Asher and this uh, Zhultan is doing his job tanking out this uh, uh, Miang and uh, yeah just uh, reflecting the damage. I mean damage re re reflect by Zhultan is crazy dude if you think about it. You don't even need uh, to be on damage and yeah he just deals damage <laughs> if it makes sense. And yeah, I got uh, the defense break and I didn't want a buff because he was defense broken to deal more damage. I was a little bit scared here because I thought this Miang would go on this um, uh, Triana, which is weird that she didn't. I know that uh, they're opposite elements, but they should ba uh, the, the do uh, they should uh, like buff the, the the AI of that thing. Because she 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 doesn't uh, she always crits even if it's a wind unit and yeah I got lucky here by uh, prox and my windy killed that uh, water um, water chasun <laughs> the water uh, the the miang and uh, yeah she stripped uh, defense broke my Jultan, but. It's no use, like this Windy and Triana can, uh, I think, kill them easily, even if my Zhultan dies, but he's kind of tanky, and he's on minus light, so they cannot deal that much damage. Yeah, that leaves this, uh, how it's called, um, Warwick, <laughs> Asher alone, and yeah, that's a 10-10, um, I'm really happy with performance. I really wanna, uh, I mean, I pick uh, boring units, but yeah, that's the siege, guys. You, you cannot uh, go like picking the 20 LD, uh, LD5 stuff and uh, hoping that you can win. You cannot win. You just need to pick uh, the best uh, uh, counters to, 
to win uh, as much matches as, as possible and uh, that's the siege guys uh, you cannot i mean i don't have fun if i lose and uh, yeah you cannot uh, i just post content like to be uh, more help helpful uh, by winning in a g3 siege and uh, i hope i help a lot of people that struggle with winning and stuff yeah it's not about the fun it's about to win <laughs> i mean when you win everyone is uh, happy you know <laughs> in your guild and that's my uh, goal to make everyone everyone happy in my guild yeah okay let's see the day two <laughs> Yo, what's up guys it's the day two and here are the standings uh, chevalier it's leading on the towers then uh us and third it's uh, take you two uh, so we are mashing into chevalier so they we take uh, their bonus as you can see uh, here are the attacks left we have a uh, 183 chevalier a little bit less than us and take you two actually um a lot of attacks left yeah as you can see the the teams everyone is like uh, yeah hard pushing pretty decent win rates we have the best win rate i think yeah a lot of 10 tens some of uh, us have two losses but it's okay hopefully we can win this one Okay guys, so the siege has ended and we got 300 uh, crystals, 800 uh, guild points and here is the end map, we won uh, by Chevalier and Teiko to place the third and um, we got a decent bo box I think, yeah it's the shiny one, 15 LD pieces I think, yep and some scroll yeah thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye bye